several years ago. And uh, it came with a crack in the plexiglass. It had the plexiglass case with red lights and stuff. So uh, they said, well, just keep that one, and they sent me another one. So I went in and built hers. Uh, and uh, it had a four, it both had 450 watt power supplies. Well, mine went out. Or did hers go out? I think mine went out. Yeah, mine went out, and I put a different one in there. Somebody had given me a big old Dell power supply, and I put it in there. It's still in there. And then hers went out after a few more years, a couple, two or three more years, and I put a 650 watt power supply in there, and because I wanted to go to an eight core processor. So, um, um, compare all, uh, and I don't. Like I said, I, don't, I know that, uh, well, I always put a lot of hard drives in them and everything. So they, I believe that one of the reasons the power supplies, mine went out, is because I ran, you know, five years uh, pushing that power supply as far as, it, as, far as I could, you know. Uh, I have five hard drives in that machine where the power supply went out. Although when I got that other Dell one, it never has had a hiccup. I don't run it anymore, uh, hardly ever. But anyway, this machine, generally, it, the idling uh, power, wattage is 200, a little low, sometimes a little below, uh, like, you know, 190 or maybe 185 or something. Uh, but then um, uh, the most, uh, I'm talking about looking at ILO and all that, the most I've ever seen it do is just a little over 400 watts. So, you know, just because you have a big power supply doesn't mean your, any machine is going to use it all at any one time. But I'm, uh, I've got an eight core video card and I watch videos most of the time these days. So, uh, and that makes them fans kick up when I do too. Uh, and you'll really see some activity when I go to watching a video. Now here it is now that it's kind of up and running, but it's still nothing really happening on it. Uh, so uh, anyway, I need to research hard drives obviously because I may have another one going gone gone bad or going bad it hasn't went to a red light and said it's bad but I do believe one of the messages on the boot screen might have said uh, pre pre failure maybe or something you know like that might be in pre failure uh, but the other one said it's in pre failure every time and uh, well, when the light turns red, though, that doesn't mean the hard drive is for sure bad. What it means is it's turned it off and it won't use it. I've looked in the manuals and stuff. Uh, I did fi find that out. I guess I went. I did look a little bit in the manual. So anyway, I'm I'm in a, going in circles. Uh, well, let me just I'll open up Firefox just to kind of give a quick view of uh, what the usage would be. People always, used to always, well, they still do. They say, well, I don't use my computer for much. I just, uh, you know, get on the Internet and stuff. Well, web browsers uses more, more hard, you know, uses the hardware harder than about anything else you do on a computer unless you're editing videos or playing games. So that's, far, uh, and YouTube, you're sitting there like that. That's my videos. Uh, we'll use a lot of power, a lot of, a lot of resources. Let's see how much. It doesn't jump. Well, I saw 10% on number core, core 24. See the big jump? That's from using Firefox. Now, the memory is usually not too much. Uh, 1.4 gigabyte. Of course, that's a lot compared to years a few years ago. But uh, now that's just running Firefox in, in YouTube. Not doing a thing. Just sitting there. Um, now, if you go off to some other page, then uh, I'll hit the home page and just go to Google. Now, let's see what it does. So, it's hard to tell. I think that would have been the last spike. Let's see. Well, it didn't go down much, 1.3 gigabyte. Of course, that still is a Google page, you know, Google search. But uh, let's hit home again. I'll try this other page, the one that has my news on it and stuff. Now it's just that page. I think, yeah, see, it's back to 1.4. I saw 1.5 when I first looked at it. So it uses more than Google. 
so uh, let me get off in here. This thing itself, this graph uses some power, so it's kind of hard to get a realistic view. That that's something I got. I remember because, like, if you go back over here uh, and look at the different pages, and we'll see now. There's a uh, two hundred six megabyte of um, RAM for, and then web extensions. That's part of Firefox. One hundred twenty-two. Web 58 uh, megabytes. These are megabytes, not gigabytes. And there you go. There's another one that says web. Hard for me to get in the right place. Uh, see, see that, that doesn't tell you the memory. That tells you the information. Looks like it's 39 megabytes. I can't follow the, the lines across. Even though they're kind of laid out for you, I can do it. Okay, so anyway... Um, That is <clears throat> what I've figured out so far, which I really didn't figure it out, did I? I'm going to have to get in the manual and uh, read through it and figure out what I, what, I'm sure there's more than one way to try the data recovery and, and, and figure out what, things go by faster than I can read them, so, uh, in the in the boot menu like that like I was, there was two th three different times when you had choices of key you know f, f keys to hit and i it went by before i could read the first line first couple of words so i may be missing exactly what i need and uh yeah that just that time it just took you straight into regular bios that's not that doesn't have the data recovery in it so yeah i'm not going to do any more now uh, it works fine like it is, <laughs> but I need to, uh, uh, figure it out soon because if that completely fails, then well, my, my operating system would still work, but then there wouldn't be, I think, I'm not sure, but I think in RAID 5, you can actually lose two drives. Well, I think it depends on. I think you can. I think you can lose two drives and it will still work. But of course, then you'd have no redundancy. I know you can lose one and it'll still work. But you need, that's the whole point, you know. When it tells you you need to fix it, you need to fix it or else you're going to end up with a broken operating system. So, uh, and I have a USB backup drive, an 8 gigabyte, uh, that runs every day. So as long as my files are, important files are backed up, you know, I can just... Uh, reinstall I need to upgrade to Fedora 34 or 35 I can reinstall my OS and then you know put what files I want back in there but uh, <clears throat> I uh, forgot where the camera's pointing <clears throat> so anyway there we go I'm I, I'm still half half don't know what what's going on because I just got up and had breakfast a while ago well it's just been a while now it's four almost five and I got up at 12 30 Hey, okay, so it uh, always takes a lot longer than you think to do this stuff. So I'm going to go and uh, keep forgetting. I have my remote in my pocket, and that's actually the best way to turn it off. <clears throat>